We're digging deeper into a shooting in Oregon City. Police say it was a case of domestic violence, and it's not the first time the suspect has been accused of abuse. Welcome to Coin 6 News at noon today. I'm Mike Murad. And I'm Jenny Hansen. Now, we have been looking into the criminal history of a man accused of shooting his wife yesterday. And we've discovered 55-year-old Timothy Oliver Moffat has a long history of domestic violence accusations. And Brent Weisberg is live in Oregon City with new details. Brent? Jenny and Mike, good morning to you. We are here at the Oregon City Police Department where I just got an update from investigators. They say this is a case of domestic violence and they this morning are still asking for the public's help in learning more about the people involved. Today we're learning more about the man who Oregon City Police say shot and wounded his wife. This is a booking photo of 55-year-old Timothy Oliver Moffett. I've learned that this booking photo stemmed from an arrest last year. Digging deeper through court records, I've learned that there has been a recent history of domestic violence involving Mr. Moffett. According to records that I found late last year, Moffett's wife, the woman he's accused of shooting yesterday, asked a judge to order him to move out of their home. The judge made that order. The very next day, on December 24th, Oregon City Police filed assault charges against Mr. Moffett for an incident that happened earlier in December. On December 30th, he was ordered not to have any contact with his wife. That brings us to yesterday's shooting. Police say Mr. Moffett chased his wife in a vehicle. She called 911 and told dispatchers that he was shooting at her while she was driving. Investigators now tell us that she is at the hospital in critical but stable condition. Her husband is in the same condition but at a different hospital after police say he shot himself. Well, I just spoke with the attorney who represents Mr. Moffett on those other cases. He said he did not want to comment on those cases, and he said he could not comment on this case because it is a pending criminal matter. Reporting live in Oregon City, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News. Brent, thank you.